guys! Welcome to another watercolor Christmas card paint-a-thon. And we are now on day four. So what we're doing today is, as you can tell, a cute little cat. This is Catmas, or Christmas cat, or cat in a stocking. And you can see I've already transferred my picture. Before I start talking about the paint colors or anything else, let's do a review on what we've already done because this is a series and there's a relationship with all that we do. So this is our first one, it's a cardinal. Our second one is the penguin. The third one is our cute little squirrel. This actually, it's a naughty squirrel. Today we're doing the Catmus and we're using the same colors as we have in the past. So you can see that we have all the colors here and these all have been used. So oftentimes I, I'm introducing a new color, but today, no new color. So we're doing Payne's Gray today. All of these have Payne's Gray. Indian Throne Blue is these two. Cobalt Teal Blue, well technically I am introducing a new color because this is Cobalt Turquoise Blue, and this was a Windsor and & Newton, and Cobalt Teal Blue is a Daniel Smith. And the reason I'm using this one today is this one is transparent, much more transparent. This one's rather opaque. Uh, they're basically the same color, they just behave a little bit differently and, and by different companies. My choice company is Daniel Smith. So I have four Daniel Smiths, and then I have a couple more. So Paraline Red is from, we're, we used it in the Cardinal. Thalo Green was here, and then Green Gold was here on our Cardinal. So these are the colors that we're going to be using today. And uh, just FYI, MG means M. Graham, and the Green Gold is Windsor and Newton. Okay, so let's get everything ready and we'll start painting. Okay, because this is a series, we're using the same brushes pretty much throughout. This is my two inch wide for laying down a wide even sheen of water. And then I can drop some paints in, and this is for the background painting. Uh, like I said before, you can use a one inch, it's fine. Um, I'm using, again, the silver black velvet size four. It's quite fine. And this is a nail brush. I keep alternating between the double zero and the triple zero. So today I'm using the triple zero again, and this is as this is pretty fine. So I'll need this for getting some details in the eye and some details along the fur. I'll use this quite a bit today. Now you do see I have two different brushes. I haven't used these before. Um, I'll talk about these in a minute. So the other uh, materials that we are using, consistently we're using the Echoline. This is a liquid watercolor ink and I've used it throughout this series and I will continue. If you have gouache, it's fine. You, it's about the same thing. I am also using the washi tape on my paper. This paper is the Fabriano Artistico Hot Press because I can get more detail with that. This is six inch by nine inch and all of my cards this on, in the series are six inch by nine inch or 15 centimeters by 23. Okay, now about these brushes. In this painting today, I'm finally using some masking. So it's something I haven't used before in the series. And so uh, to use a masking, we are using some ratty brushes because if we use our nicer brushes, huh, we'll ruin them. And this is a brand new brush. And so I use them, I, I need it for really fine detailing today. That's why I got a new one. So these are my ratty brushes. You can tell they're pretty messed up. And they're going to be more messed up, so we're going to put the masking on certain areas of our paper. The masking will prevent the water colors from staining those areas. And then when we lift the masking off, then we will have, we'll be back to the white of the paper. And you might be asking, can we use the Echoline for that? Well, no, because uh, the Echoline will still have some color in it. And if we use the masking, we'll retain the white of the paper. And this is extra white paper, so there's no way we can get back to the original color, even with Echoline. So I'm going to be masking these bulbs. Uh, this is not a bulb. These are little hanger, hanger knobbies or whatever. So these bulbs, I will be masking the, 
the paintbrush, which I made differently in this picture. I will also be masking this white uh, wish list and along the edge of this one and this tag. So I'm not going to mask in this area. I don't, I, I want to be able to paint there later. So um, I can also mask in the eyes, but I am not going to. I'm going to paint the little face first and I'm going to be very careful of the eyes and so if you want to do the masking for the eyes that's fine but I'm not going to I'll just be really careful okay and I'll do a little spattering so let's start with our masking okay to do the masking I tend not to dip directly from the bottle because I'm masking quite a bit and this stuff dries and gets gummy and I don't want it to have too much air exposure so I'm going to put a little bit into my I think that's using quite a bit right now so that, that should be enough and you'll notice I didn't pour it over this paper because I just spilled some and it's happened before so I'm pretty careful with that stuff oh. And I have right here, this is some liquid dish soap. And I use that to uh, protect my brush. I know it's an old ratty brush, but it does help protect better. Okay guys, this is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit. I masked the areas I told you about. I used two brushes. One was a smaller and one was a larger. Before I put that larger brush in the masking, I did protect it with that liquid soap, as you can see me doing it right here. And then after everything was masked, I let the paper completely dry. Otherwise, it will be a sticky mess and you'll probably have to start all over. So please let everything dry before starting with your painting process. Okay guys, you now know the colors, the painting process, and so happy painting. And if you are wanting that step-by-step -step process, I'll be reopening my Patreon in January, so stay tuned. And now for the music. And stick around to the end for a few special extras.